friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. In one of my previous videos, I talked about the beauty that we find underneath the dust jacket. And today I wanna to talk to you about beautiful end papers. previous blog post about this topic and show you some beautiful end papers. Some of these were on that list, but today I want to share with you some of my favorites. I have five books here to share with you. There's tons more. I could do this video again if you really liked it, so make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to see more beautiful end papers. Some of these are maps, which I mentioned in my previous video about underneath the dust jacket. Um, I just think that it's so great when there's a beautiful map and it's included right there on the end papers because it's really easy to find as you're referencing the map throughout the story. So let's go ahead and get started with the one that I showed you in my thumbnail and that is the end papers of um, The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Steedman. Um, I haven't read this book yet but when I saw this at my library book sale and I saw these end papers you guys so amazing. It looks old, it looks unique, I've never seen anything like this but it has like the lighthouse station and it's like the log and I just I just like it I just love it I actually have an old paper that's kind of like a log of sorts and it just reminds me of this let me show you that paper actually okay so this I actually found in an antique store and on one side it seems a little boring um, but on the other side I just think it's so beautiful and it's from 1897 this is the side that I love Or this reminds me of that, you know, vice versa, but I absolutely adore these end pages. The next one is a pretty simplistic end papers, but I just think it's very beautiful, and that is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Um, it's kind of a summary cover here, and it has like the broken light up here, and the end papers also have this soft blue and white and almost pearlescent um, light effect here and I just think it's so pretty it's so shimmery and just kind of fits the beachy vibes of the story and the cover here next up is another simplistic one and that's Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children um, it has this nice brown almost wallpaper design let's take a full look so it just has this little detail that you really can't necessarily see from far away, but when you get up on it, it's just really pretty. It's almost like something like your grandmother would have in her house or like a hipster would, you know, wallpaper their hallway or bathroom with. So I think that's really pretty. So it's a very hipster vintage feel to the end papers of this, and I just think that fits the vibe of the book. Next up, I had to include The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. Um, the beautiful end papers feature Shazi, our main character, right here on the cover. But it also has this really pretty um, floral, royal purple color on the left hand side. And then we have a great picture of Shazi right here on the right hand side. So I think that's really beautiful. Another map right in the front is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson and it has the map right here in the front and this is one of my favorite maps. I love the tonal quality of this and just the little illustrations along the bottom and I just think it's beautiful and very helpful again to have the map right here in the front so as you're reading the story you can just flip and reference the map. So high points for people that do this with their books that have maps. And these end papers absolutely blew me away. Um, the Lunar Chronicles, one of my favorite series that I was reading at the time, um, it has no illustrations. It had no like art at all other than like fan made art. But when you got your copy of Ferris and you opened that book, check out these end papers you guys. I was completely blown away at, um, this is the, um, castle on Luna and it's just, oh my gosh, the colors, the scale, like 
actually having a visual representation of something from the lunar world. It's the same on the back cover. But, oh my gosh, you guys, I just could not get enough of this. It, you could see Earth in the background and just the scale and size of this world. And you finally just have that visual representation of what you're reading about. And it was just so amazing to find. So happy to have this in my collection, if not just for this artwork right here on the end papers. So that wraps up my beautiful end papers. I did do a blog post about beautiful end papers. I will have that linked for you down in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more, if you liked this video. Um, I will also have linked in the description box my underneath the dust jacket video for you because there's beauty there as well. I just love finding unexpected things in books that just make me love a book even more. But that's all for today's video. If you have any special in papers to share with me, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!